everyone welcome back to my channel this is Tracy I'm back for another video and for today's video I'm going to do a mini haul from Nordstrom and from TJ Maxx and also the main reason I'm here is I'm going to show you um, my Ta -da! Cassie 19 I have two Cassie 19 that I purchased a while back I think two years or three years ago before pandemic or mid pandemic I cannot remember I did unboxing of those two so I'll link those uh, videos on the description box down below the reason why I want to show you my Cassie 19 today is because I heard and I checked that the Cassie 19 is back I can't remember when it was discontinued but yes they discontinued the Cassie and the Cassie 19 and now it's back in stock but the regular cassie is not i don't know if they're bringing it back i've seen the chalk and the black color um available already and also the their signature canvas so i just want to hop in here just in case you are looking into buying cassie 19 and hopefully this video will help you decide if you want to get this style of bag so if you want to see what i got from nordstrom and tj maxx and those cassie 19s Please keep on watching. But before we start, welcome. I'm Tracy. I do bag unboxing videos, sometimes first impression review videos, and once in a while I do upload vlog videos. If you happen to like my channel, please consider subscribing. And for all who already subscribed, thank you so much for your love and support now let's do our the mini haul first because i have a few items first up is from nordstrom i only got one item from them and here it is it's a coach product yes first time i'm buying a coach uh, item from nordstrom and this is not a bag this is ta -da! a shoes yes the sandals um let me take it out of the box because i already tried it on just want to show it to you like the packaging when i receive it from nordstrom which i i like that they put it in a box and package it nicely seems like this um shoes was not even tried on so like spanking brand new so yes this is the sandals this is the kelly sandals in the color chalk this is what it looks like i hope it's focusing yeah so this is the kelly sandals in the color chalk i would not reveal my shoe size because it's not <laughs> it's a little big i think this came out like a couple of months ago like early spring and i've seen one of the sa's from my coach facebook group that she posted a picture of this uh on the group and it looks so good i really like the look of these um sandals but at that time i wasn't really like deciding to get it because the price of this one is 195 us dollars normally i don't buy expensive uh footwear shoes or sandals um this is the very first um sandals or uh, that i bought for that price then later on i get like i said i like that shoes because I might be attending a wedding this year so I like something that I can wear for the wedding and this one looks perfect to me so I went to the coach website and the size that and my size is not available anymore the the only website I saw that my size is available is from Nordstrom so I ordered this but the thing is I mean though it's pretty it's really good i probably return this one because of the heel height it's three inches i read on the website the height of these shoes is already three inches but then i just i still want to see it i'm torn between buying the oran or oasis sandals from hermes but it's triple the price of this one so i said why not try and get the coach one maybe the the heel height is not that high for me but then as soon as i tried it on and i called my husband when i tried it on like side by side with my husband i am taller than him so 
He said, I cannot wear that because you'll be taller than me when you wear that. Yeah. So that part is like, I don't want to look taller than my husband. So, um, but it's so cute. It's really, really cute. I like it. I hope that coach will make it like shorter. The heel will be shorter. Then it will be perfect for me. I tried it on for the first time. And I walked a couple of minutes like around the house since it's high and I'm not used to wearing those um, high heels it doesn't feel comfortable like I can't remember when was the last time I wear heels to work uh, probably like 18 20 years ago when I used to be an instructor for caregiver back back when we were in the Philippines but then when we moved here I always wear rubber shoes, running shoes, and most of the time just flat shoes. And the only time I can remember I wore shoes with heels is when I attended like a couple of weddings. I went home to the Philippines and wear like probably a little shorter than this. It's a Steve Madden sandals. And then like not right after the wedding ceremony, I have to change to a flat sandals because uh, my my feet are killing me so yeah trying this on for the first time it's uncomfortable because my feet is not used to like this tall but then I retry it again and see how it goes like I was walking around my room doing some cleaning and wearing this it's not that uncomfortable anymore it's just I think it's for this height it's a little bit comfortable I mean, I can wear this throughout the wedding plus the reception. Uh, that's how I, I feel about these shoes. But who knows? I will not be able to wear this because it's too high. And my husband will look shorter than me. But if the heels is not this high, this is a keeper. Like really, really, it looks so good. It makes your feet look so sexy. You can wear this. Seems like you can wear this like um, like a like uh i don't know if it's a casual formal semi-formal and also um very casual outfit but it's too high i cannot go out shopping like at the mall wearing this height yeah i'm already tall so my i'm 5 8 and my husband's 5 11 so probably not a good idea to wear this like when you're roaming around the mall but anyway uh i feel bad because i have to return this i really really like this but I cannot keep it so yes that's it for our Nordstrom purchase now let's proceed to the TJ Maxx items I got some jewelry uh, from TJ Maxx I'm gonna show you I'm already wearing uh, some of them so this is the earrings that I got I only got one pair of earrings and this is the necklace and I have the bracelet I don't know if you can see it yeah, that's the bracelet. These jewelry that I purchased from TJ Maxx are the same style. It's just different color. Yeah, this is inspired by a Filipino YouTuber that I just recently discovered. Uh, her name is Mommy Heidi, and I was I have been binge watching her her vlogs, and I I see her videos that she's wearing earrings, necklace, and bracelet like the Van Cleef inspired jewelry so i got curious and she had she made a video and about her jewelry collection and she put the link on where i can purchase it in the philippines but then they're already sold out i was thinking if i'm going home to the philippines or my my sister-in-law can buy it for me and ship it to me but then um the items that she posted were not uh, available anymore then like a couple of weeks ago I met up with my friend and she was wearing like a dainty not a dangling clover earrings it's just like a stud and I said where did you get that earrings because I've been looking for that kind of style and she told me TJ Maxx so right there and then we went to TJ Maxx to see if they still have it in stock so I purchased a couple of items um, Three, one, two, three, four necklace, three bracelet, and a pair of earrings. This is the only earrings that they have um, 
available that is uh, like a clover van cliff in inspired so this is from the brand rachel zoe so this is the box that the earrings came with the necklace and the bracelet doesn't have like a specific box that has her name on it it's just like the black boxes that they will give it to you this is the only one that's not rachel zoe i think this is alexa and tony you can you can adjust this to make it shorter but i wear it at the longest setting and for me it feels like it looks good with this turtleneck though it's almost summer i still wear turtleneck because it's still 50 degrees here it's it's cold it's not even it feels like it's fall <laughs> it's been raining but anyway this is the bracelet that i got i got it in three different colors it's the same color as the necklace it's like pearl white color it has three clovers and then i got the other one that's like a purplish bluish color i don't know if you can see that yeah at first didn't think about this one but then i tried it again in the store and i kind of like the color so i purchased this and then i got the black one this one and the price for this one is $24.99 US dollars. Uh, my friend told me she bought a few items from Rachel's Zoe brand and it doesn't tarnish for her. So hopefully this one doesn't. For the necklace, I showed you this one. This is Alexa and Tony, I think. It's $24.99 and then the rest will be Rachel Zoe. So this is an other necklace that I got. It has three clover. One is bigger and the other two are smaller. So for the price of the necklace, this is $29.99. And then I got a green one. Same style, but just a green. It's on sale for $24. And then I got a black one. This one is $19.99 because there's only one clover. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. Then I like the idea that you can wear them together. The like even like for the bracelet. I like I tried it on wearing them together. It looks good. Like side by side, like with the contrast color. Looks like that. And even this blue one, side by side with the pearl, the white one, it looks cute. Look at that. And also when you wear this, this is the white one. And if you wear a black, I think it would look cute as well. Together with the black. So that's it for our TJ Maxx jewelry haul. Okay, now let's proceed to our Cassie 19. I have two bags in here. Let's start with this one. So this is in the color multi, pine green, aurora, and taupe. The Cassie 19 comes with three straps, a top handle, a metal shoulder strap, and a long cross body strap. Let's do a 360 look on this bag. This is the front with the signature C and it has a turn lock closure. Um, this is the side. It comes with a hang tag, which is in the color think taupe and hunter uh, pine green and this is the back and this is the side this is the bottom it looks like that and the top handle is mix of taupe and pine green even the long shoulder strap is a taupe and pine green it has the pewter hardware and let's look at the inside of this bag 
it has fabric lining with a uh, coach words inside it's like a navy color and it seems like this leather part here is like navy black so the inside of this Cassie 19 has three compartments and it has a zipper pocket at the middle and it has a coach grid there so for what fits inside let's try a phone I have an um, iPhone 13 Pro Max and let's see if it fits at the back pocket yes it does and then it fits at the front looks like so in the middle compartment this bag has a back pocket try if it will fit it can fit in there it will be a tight squeeze it looks like so but removing it can be <laughs> a little tight yeah so if I put it like vertically this is how it looks like but yes a big iPhone can fit in this Cassie 19 let's try on a full-size wallet so I have here a Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet let's try it at the middle compartment if it fits uh, it's a tight squeeze I wouldn't really it did fit inside but it takes up a lot of room on the middle compartment it would not fit in the back compartment in the front compartment is long but now removing it is uh, hard <laughs> and then I have here a Tory Burch zip wallet which is bigger than the Louis Vuitton and it would not fit I have here a slim wallet from Michael Kors it cannot really like fit at the back but it fits in the middle compartment and you still have more room let's try it at the front it, no it's a little long but then if you put it in there it fits I have here a mini pochette so let's try it on the middle compartment and it fits in there and let's put the slim wallet it fits and let's put in our phone at the front pocket and then close it it's good it doesn't change its shape I think I can still put it in the middle yeah in the middle pocket it's there I mean in the middle compartment it looks like that and then you can still have room to put your items in here let's see a wallet and close it <laughs> There you go. This this bag can fit a lot of items. It looks small, but then it can fit a lot. Put my glasses like so. There you go. So if you want to put like your mask, your hand sanitizer, a bat power bank in here, it can it you can still fill this bag so let's add more items on this bag so i have here a mini baby wipes i got this from the philippines when my husband went home i asked my sister-in-law to buy this why it's not focusing there you go i asked her to buy this uh for me so let's put it in here at the back i have a card case from coach let's put it at the front and then I have lipstick buxom yeah let's put it at the back I have a hand sanitizer let's put it there so that's what it looks like I have my glasses I can put it at the back looks like that I think you can you can still put more items in here and then we can close it without a problem and it looks like so look at that it's it looks bulky but it doesn't really change its shape you can still put your mask in here and then you can carry it like a top hand with the top handle that it came with it looks nice it looks so nice if we change the strap this 
one to the metal strap that came with it. I'll show it to you how it is. This one is a little heavy, you know, compared to other uh, chain straps that Coach did. This one is a little heavy. This one I got with the, I can't remember the bag that I did an unboxing. It's way like, this is like a crossbody strap length. And this is just a shoulder strap length. And this one is, the Cassie 19 chain strap is heavier than this one. Which is, I prefer the lighter one when you're carrying it as a crossbody and you fill up your bag to the rim. So, let's put this chain strap so that at least you have an idea how it looks like. There you go. That's what it looks like. And you can put it over your shoulder. Just like that. It's cute. We'll do a try on towards the end of this video. So yeah, that's it for this bag in the color Multi Fine Green Aurora. Now let's look at the other Cassie 19. It's the same pretty much concept. I just want to show you to the color so this is in the color multi this is in the color confetti wine or bordeaux it has a brass hardware and then the hang tag is in the color chalk i wonder why it's in the color chalk but yes that's what it looks like i don't know if they will bring back the colors that they had before discontinuing this one uh, i hope so but this is the chain strap that it comes with it and this is the top handle strap it's in the color bordeaux or wine and also it's this is the long shoulder strap unlike the where's the other one unlike the pine green one it is two-toned this one is just one color yeah that's a difference between those two colors yeah So that's it guys for our Cassie 19 video for today and for our TJ Maxx haul and Nordstrom haul. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you get updated every time I upload a new video. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye!